Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, I am going to talk about a completely fresh topic, right? This will be the first time we are discussing it on our channel and probably I'll be creating whole play series on this topic. So I will have, you know, the list of videos just like I have it for Synapse, for Databricks, for Data Factory, you know, in the similar way, I'll have it for Snowflake as well. We'll have all the hands-on sessions. So in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do remember to subscribe and share the channel to your friends as well. So moving on with today's video, we are going to discuss basics of Snowflake, right? What exactly is Snowflake, right? Why do we use it for? What are the use cases for Snowflake, right? Why do we use it? And what exactly does Snowflake do? What does it mean? So to answer that in a very simple way, because I kind of believe in, you know, creating simple things rather than you know complicating them so a very simple answer to it it is a cloud data warehouse it is a data warehouse which is essentially built only for cloud right it does not work with on-prem it is a cloud data warehouse now since it is a cloud data warehouse right so when we talk about cloud we have uh, you know, the benefits that comes along with cloud. So for example, pay as you go, right? So you just pay for what you use, right? Similarly, you know, you have better security. You don't need to manage the, uh, you know, hardware associated to the data warehouse, right? You don't need to do that. So here comes the idea of zero management. So these are the typical things that, you know, why do we have cloud, right? In the similar way, uh, I, we, we can actually answer the same question. Why do we have a data warehouse for cloud? Cloud, right you can have uh, you know loads of your data stored in the data warehouse you know you just pay for essentially what you use it is completely managed by uh, you know uh, snowflake right you don't need to manage the infrastructures associated to it you know you just need to manage the pricing the cost you need to see you know what are the costs associated to your data storage what is the cost associated to the queries right this is what you need to care about so essentially snowflake is uh, it's not just you know cloud data platform it is also the first cloud data platform you do not have you know any other uh, cloud data platform prior to snowflake so it is the first cloud data platform which is software as a service right we already know what exactly software as a service is right so software as a service essentially means that uh, you know your uh, uh, kind you just manage the data inside it right you just put in the data and all the uh, you know hardware associated to it everything is managed by the vendor itself vendor here is snowflake right and it runs completely on cloud and it manages both structured and unstructured data so if you go with a traditional data warehouse right you do not you cannot put unstructured data but with snowflake you can also put unstructured data so this is a very big plus point right so it was founded in 2000, uh, 2012 so pretty new right and it offers you storage and analytics service right so we will talk about you know how it offers you storage how it offers you analytics service so we'll have the whole place series uh, around it so similarly, it integrates with all three types of cloud, right? It integrates with your Amazon S3, it integrates with your Microsoft Azure, it integrates with your Google Cloud Platform as well. So whenever you try to, you know, query the data, right? So how, how you know, where does the compute comes from, right? So it uses virtual compute instances, right? Whenever you are trying to do a select star operations, right? It has a virtual compute instances which are present which help you to do any work on your data right and it cannot be run on your pri private cloud infrastructure so this i have already told you in the beginning and it is not a, like a package software offering right that you know i can just give you a file and you can simply install it no it's not like that it is completely on cloud right so all the uh, you know installations updates so essentially there are no installation updates as such but uh, you know it is all on cloud so everything is managed by snowflake itself right and when it comes to snowflake so similar to the databricks right we have your community edition here we have your premium editions right similarly even in snowflake you have editions 
I have mentioned this in the slide over here. So if you see standard is the basic one and then you go with the premier, then you go with enterprise, then you have enterprise for sensitive data, which is HIPAA uh, compliant. And then you have your virtual private snowflake. So features of each of these editions, right? I don't want to go in detail, right? Because anyway, we will be covering the details in, you know, all lot of all our videos, all my upcoming videos, but still you can just skim through all the data points for each edition, right? So the, uh, the lowest one being the standard one and the highest one, right? Being the virtual private snowflake. Now, essentially, you might think, right, what you can do with Snowflake, right? It is a data warehouse, of course. You can do storage because it's a data warehouse. You can keep your data. You can keep your structured and unstructured data as well in Snowflake, right? And the costs are typically lower than your on-prem data storage solutions because you, do, you don't, you know, because you do not need to have the maintenance cost. You do not need to have, the, you know, the extra, uh, you know, the hardware installation cost associated to it now also you can do reporting on top of it right it will help you right it will help you to perform better at your business reporting as well similarly it also helps in the analytics part of it so you can easily integrate snowflake with any crm tool so i think uh, latest they have launched uh, you know connected to tableau right uh, tableau crm tool so similarly you can connect it to any customer relationship management software as well and run your data analytics on top of it so all these features are always available with snowflake so i'm just trying to give you you know an overview of what exactly snowflake is right in the upcoming video we will have the architectural discussions and other discussions as well now what are the benefits of snowflake essentially it's on cloud right so it's on cloud and uh, you know you can use you know both your structured as well as uh, semi structured or unstructured data as well so of course you know there is an encryption on rest in snowflake that encryption feature is always there in snowflake so definitely encryption on rest is kind of a modern security feature which has come up over here right you can do analytics you can you know add real data streams right you can uh, get real data streams into uh, you know your snowflake it is highly scalable right you do not need to you know do any uh, you know uh, anything very extra right to scale it up you have your virtual warehouses for that we will discuss more in detail about virtual warehouses as well it can be easily managed right because you do not need any you know large team right it is just on cloud so there is no major infrastructure cost involved as well right similarly you can access it access it 24 by 7 from anywhere right so essentially these are the basics of uh, you know what i wanted to discuss you for today in today's video so next video stay tuned we'll have snowflake architecture in detail so thank you so much for being here and do remember to like subscribe and share